Manchester Derby saw Eric Ten Hag reach the 100 game mark for his Manchester United career. And it's been a hell of a roller coaster, I think it would be fair to say so far. On the 21st of April 2022, Ten Hag was appointed as manager of Manchester United Football Club with a contract set to expire in June 2025. And he's been a busy man, I would say, since taking over the job. He's. It's almost like he set the bar too high with his first season that the second season uh looks much worse but it doesn't just look worse it, it's it's factually worse you know it's it's uh it's regressed now you can argue amongst yourselves about whether or not the regression is down to Eric Ten Hag but it's absolutely regressed and with this 100 game benchmark now behind him I think it's time to have a bit of a review of the work that the Dutchman has done at the club so far reflect on what we faced from day one up until the present day. And maybe we'll even answer the question, what is next for Eric Ten Hag and Manchester United? Now, results. Let's start with the results, because this is a results business, and it's only right that we compare Ten Hag's results to the other uh, managers uh, around and before him. Win percent-wise, Ten Hag 61%, Ragnik 39.93, Oli 54.17, Mourinho 58, Louis, 52, Moyes, 52.93, call it 53, Sir Alex, 59.67. The first 100 games, Ten Hag's got 61 wins, one trophy. Arteta had 54 wins and one trophy. Klopp had 50 wins and zero trophies. And there's some solid stats there when you compare to his peers in and around the league and his peers that have also sat in that seat as Manchester United manager. He's doing all right. All right. Before we move forward, I'd like to take a moment to thank Teach Handley, our sponsor for today's video. Teach Handley simplifies the process of taking care of your skin. They provide you with all the products you need and none of the unnecessary extras. Seriously, I don't reckon some of you will believe me when I tell you how much implementing a quality skincare routine will improve your confidence in all aspects of your life. Recommend you start with a level one system, which comes with all the basics. You've got your daily face wash to tackle the dirt and grime, and a bi-weekly exfoliating scrub to sweep away the dead skin cells, and an AM moisturizer with SPF 20 for that crucial sun protection, and a PM moisturizer to keep your skin hydrated throughout the night. And to make it easy for blokes like us, they provide this instruction card in every box that tells you how to use each product, how much to use, and in what order. Skincare isn't always something that I've taken seriously, but now I have. I wish I would have started sooner. You don't have to take my word for it because they have over 7,000 five-star reviews from customers customers around the globe. In addition to amazing skin, members of Teach Handley get tons of benefits, including at least 20% off the retail price, ability to customize your box, exclusive monthly deals, pause or cancel at any time. There is free US shipping for my American folks and low cost shipping for the rest of us. And because Teach are sponsoring this video, they are offering you an amazing deal. Just click the link in the description below, get 30% off your skincare system and a free gift. As a member, you'll also get 20% off for life. And by the way, both gifts you are choosing from have a $20 value and are a complete game changer. There's a silicone body scrubber, and personally, I prefer the nail and face grooming kicks. It's the ultimate tool for a sharp and confident look. Keep those nails and hairs in check like a true gent. Don't wait any longer. Click the link in the description to start your skincare journey today. And things are bad now, but those first 100 games show a manager that knows what it takes to make this team tick. You know, had the uncontrollable circumstances not be what they've been and be as bad as they have been this season, Ten Hag would probably have, you know, at least, just on selection issues alone, at least another five or six wins, which push him into like the two-thirds wins kind of rate, which is obscenely good. Factual. Just obscenely, really good. Really, really good. But we have to look at the positives as well as the negatives. He's coped with some horrendous issues the Maguire captaincy the Ronaldo fallout the ownership shit show the best team that we've gone when it's been out has gone on some impressive runs even this season the best win percentage out of any permanent Manchester United manager has been fair but also ruthless if you're not on board you are ostracized and obviously we have the entire right wing situation going on he seems to get what Manchester United is about. Negatives. Because there's negatives, undoubtedly. 
He seems to lack any sort of plan B. Losing a couple of key players and the wheels of the system completely disintegrate, let alone fall off. When we have lost Lissandro Martinez, we have crumbled. And now some people go, well, actually, when Pep Guardiola lose Rodri, they crumble to an equal sort of footing. And I think that's got some truth to it. But he isn't really getting the best out of players this season. There's been a, a wild variation from last season to this season in the performances of certain players. Rashford, Garnacho, Casemiro, Bruno. You know, all players that have shown us a higher level and have also shown us the floor of what we should be expecting from them. We absolutely crashed out of the Champions League group. Um, we was zero control in those performances, even though we were very close to going through and very close to some big wins in there. The bottom line is uh, we crashed out. And it looks like a, a complete lack of tactical knowledge in the team this season. The away record is absolutely tragic, especially against the better teams. When you look at this season versus last season, the difference is, is night and day. Last season, we finished third with 75 points, which is a strong season. This season, we are sixth with 44 points. With 11 games left to go, we're almost going to have to be flawless just to match what we did last season. And let's be honest, we're not gonna. The big difference has been injuries. Your know, United recorded 47 separate cases of injury and illness that have led to a player missing at some point this season. Have the demands of last season where we saw the squad run thin, dealing with midweek World Cup, going the distance in all of the competitions where we went so far on such a thin squad where we saw the players run into the ground, has that caught up with us? Supposedly, a uh, a minority of United players are concerned about the running demands from Eric Ten Hag. Some players believe the intensity is too high after United's campaign. Was the, the poor execution of pre-season an issue? Has there been poor management of the squad? Is he able to rotate players? We've seen the drop-off from the first 11 to the, the extras that have been coming in. Or is it just the nature of football in this day and age? Are we unlucky? What is next for Eric Ten Hag? Is he the biggest influence on our troubles this season? I don't think so. But I do think it's on him to be able to turn this around. I think he'll probably get another season. And I think they'll allow him to see till the end of that contract that he's got. But he's going to have to turn this season around and go at least par with what he did in the first season, if not improve upon that, to be given an extension on his contract. And I think that'd be fair. Do you agree? Please let me know in the comments. I'll see you in the next one. Laters. Hey, thank you for watching the video. If you are new around these parts, then don't forget to subscribe. My channel is proudly supported by my community on Patreon. If you'd like to get a little bit of extra content, a Discord group, meetups, five-a-side games, weekly podcasts, behind the scenes, and even an occasional bit of transfer news, as and when I get it, then for the price of a pint, you can show your appreciation for the content that we make and get some goodies for doing so as well. Check the link in the description or click the button right here. You'll also find all of my socials here too if you want to follow me on any of those platforms. Nice one.